So, you're looking at a used bike, maybe on Craigslist, maybe at a garage sale, and you want to figure out if the frame is bent, if this bike's ever been in a crash. Well, let's take a look at this Centurion. Looks pretty good, right? It's not all folded in half like a taco. It's a Sport Deluxe. A Sport Dulx. It's got like Fiesta graphics on it. It's a nice bike. Rides really well. You know, it's got some wear to it. It's got Diacomp brakes. Those are nice. They stop really well. Weinman rims. Can't complain there. Shimano derailleur. Maillard hub. Another Shimano derailleur. Sugino cranks. Cage pedals. High tensile steel fork. Shimano shifters. Tange Infinity Chromoly. Tapered double butted tubing. So, oh, it's even got uh, Centurion handlebars. This ain't a bad bike. Now, up here in the sticks, nobody buys bikes like this, but down in Manhattan, there was a time when a bike like this, all tuned up and everything, ready to go, would be like $400. Maybe that time has come and gone, I don't know. But if you're going to spend that much money on a bike, you want to check it out. So the first thing you want to look at is the front wheel. Is the front wheel messed up? And look, I tried to spin it, and it didn't spin. It keeps hitting on the brake. Now, I'm trying to hold the camera and spin the wheel, but you see, this wheel is a little bit out of true. And it was more out of true before I gave it a little truing. So, is that a big deal that your wheel's a little out of true? No, but it's a clue if your wheel's out of true. So, your next clue, right here. See these stress cracks in the paint? Why would your paint crack like that? Is it cracked here, or here, or here, or anywhere else? No, but it's cracked right here. Now you're gonna look down here and see, can you see any bubbling? Can you, under the lugs, can you feel any, anything that seems untoward? And in this bike, not really. But I'm gonna say, this bike hit a curb or a wall or something, messed up the front wheel, some of that force went from here to here to here and here, and that's what causes these little stress lines. Now, this big section right here where it's obviously been uh, touched up, I don't know what the hell that is, you know, but usually this won't be here. So you're gonna be looking for stress lines in the paint, you're gonna be looking for like a little bulge under here, a little bulge under here, and it's hard with the camera, but see if it looks bent at all. Now in the case of this bike, it does look like a little bit bent in person. So I would say this bike has had a front end collision and is a little bit bent. Does that mean anything? Well, it's a steel bike and chances are you could ride this thing for another 50 years and not have any problems. But that's up to you because you could be taking your life in your own hands. This is stress, this is wear, this thing could snap off and then you'd literally die. So. I'm not going to make any recommendations there. I'm just going to say that if you get a bike, an old bike, or if you're looking at a bike, and the front wheel is warped or wobbly, but the back wheel isn't, and there's some stress lines in the paint, maybe a little bulging here, be careful, because that means the bike has been whacked in the front. So that's the Centurion Sport Deluxe, slightly bent, but uh, still an awesome little bike. Thanks for watching.